been a really good week. Obviously, a lot to work on. So, um, you know, just trying to get better each and every opportunity. We need it. I uh, had our walkthrough today and, and uh, had a good walkthrough. And we'll get back at it tomorrow and try to put the finishing touches on the week. Is uh, blocking out the noise part of the, the kind of message to, to remain focused on the top right team of the country? Well, I th without question. I mean, you know, I think noise is so common anymore. I, I don't even, it's almost like that. It's more about, you know, your own team and the pulse of the team and the morale and, you know, and just getting them prepared and, uh, and staying with it, staying consistent. And, uh, you know, that's a big thing is just constantly pushing for consistency and, and, and not caving and, and giving in to any circumstance. You know, outside noise is always a part of that. But, uh, you know, that, that's a piece of it. You, you mentioned earlier in the week about the team kind of uh, being able to get to them. Have you had to change up your delivery? How you? I mean, you always try. I mean, you, you know, you always alter and, and do the best you can. You know, each and every day, and, and each and, and every week. And you know, with myself, nothing's predetermined. You know what I mean? I think what we you know think about the message or what we need at that particular time, what we're going through. So uh, always have done you know the best we can in that way. And ultimately, you know, I've talked since day one that we need to be player-led. So, you know, it, it, there's a lot of things that uh, the team needs to do and, and, and handle as well. That, and that's part of my job, to prepare them and prep them and uh, give them the tools to, to understand that. One of those leaders is DeAndre. Did he, did he go this week? Or was he able to work back? Uh, he's he's uh, day to day still, yeah. How about capitalizing on the noise? You see the CBS trucks out there, this national game of the week. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah. It's, it's a great opportunity, you know, and, and that's all you can ask for. You know, you got the, a, a fantastic football team coming in and number one team in the country playing at home, and it's a great opportunity for us. And, I, and we need to embrace that challenge. We know it's a real challenge, uh, but our team has always uh, been, you know, fought and played tough and played hard, and we got to continue to do that. These games have between the two teams uh, since Kirby's got there has been pretty hard fought, and then you know they seem to kind of overpower them. Is there anything to the style of play that you all um, are able to kind of get up for? And I mean, with you know, all the t you know, it's just each year is different, you know, and uh, you know, we want to be that that physical team. I mean, obviously they have a lot of depth in in some great size in a lot of areas and that's part of who they are you know they 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 do a lot of things well um, but they're a big physical team and leaning on people and pounding you throughout the year and throughout each game uh, that's why you know they're in the position that they're in they're able to withstand that at times Missouri was able to make Stetson uncomfortable back there in the pocket during their game against them uh, how important is it uh, this week to emphasize getting home and at least disrupting that pocket back there? Yeah, I think it's always a, you know important to you know get pressure when you can, mix up looks, uh, you know hopefully not let a quarterback get comfortable. It's always part of the plan and trying to get to him. When they line up a guy like Jalen Carter in the backfield, is there anything you can tell a player to try to to shoulder that block, or how, how does even a guy? Take on somebody like that when it's not just a fullback. You know, <laughs> well, we don't, we don't, we don't discuss that. I mean, you know, no matter what the size somebody is, you got, you got fits, and you got to play physical, and you better, uh, you got, you got to man up. You know, it's, a, it's, a t it's a tall task. No, you know, no matter who they have back there. Maybe comfort level is the wrong choice of words, but you're kind of in familiar territory where nobody gives you a fighting chance. You're big mm -hmm. underdogs. How, how does that play with your mindset? Yeah, well, How, how's the team responded to? It? Well, the team will respond. I mean, we, we've always responded, and I wouldn't think this team's any different, you know, and uh, we, you know, have to all do our jobs. And uh, i got to get them prepared. Our coach has got to give them a good plan, and the players got to play hard. And we've got to execute better. Again, there's been, uh, there's been inconsistency this year, but there's been moments we've done some really good things. We've got to do it for four, four quarters. It's never fun losing, but... You never want to take fun out of the equation. I mean, I'm enjoying this. It's a big game coming up. Uh, what are you doing to maybe reintroduce the fun aspect? Yeah, that's a good. Uh, that's it's good. That's good for you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> glad we can entertain you. Uh, it's funny. Uh, one of the coaches in the, in the league. Yeah, no, I won't say that. Uh, <laughs> but I'm glad we can entertain. But. Uh, 
No, I mean, uh, there, there's a lot of work to be done. I mean, it's, you know, I'm obviously not very pleased with some of the outcome we've had this year. And, you know, it's my job to get it fixed, and so there, there's a lot to do. Are you good? Thank you all. All right.